you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut v neckline draping kaftan okay and it's actually very very easy and simple to achieve especially if you are looking out for styles to add to your ready to wear collection then this style is for you don't forget to join us on facebook city designs on instagram city designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below so now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial i'm making use of this chiffon fabric to achieve this booboo dress okay so note that you have to make use of soft fabric such as chiffon crepe lacra something very light that can give you that draping effect at the side okay so with me here now i have about two and a half yards of fabric okay i'm making use of two and a half yards note that the number of yards is also determined by your size so if you're on a bigger size you can go ahead and make use of three yards of fabric if you're on a smaller size you can make you use of two yards of fabric so the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead now and fold our fabric into four the fabric into four and this is what we have now the first thing we are going to do now is to mark our shoulder measurements and note that when you want to take your shoulder measurements you are taking it up to your sleeve area and the length the length totally depends on where you want it to get up to so you can have your shoulder measurements measured up to your rigs up to your elbow it totally depends on how long you want it to be now another thing or another way in which you can achieve your shoulder measurements is by adding your shoulder measurements and your sleeve measurements together so if your shoulder measurement is 14 inches so you have seven inches and then you go ahead and add your sleeve length which is about 18 inches you that's what you will have for your shoulder measurements or you simply take the measurements all the way from your shoulder to your desired length so now whichever one you do you are still going to have the same answer so i've gone ahead now to fold my fabric into four the next thing i'm going to do now is I'm going to do now is to take my measurement so what I mean by that is when you are taking your measurements, you can take it from your shoulder this way to your desired length. Now, for me now, I have 24 inches. I have 24 inches. This is where I have my 24 inches. So this is my 24 inches. So that's my size 4 inches. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to mark my neckline. So for the wideness of my neckline, I'm going to make it of 3 inches for the wideness of the neckline. Now for the back block, I'll make use of 1 inch. I'll make use of 1 inch for the back block. And for the front block, I will make use of 5 and half inches. I will make use of five and a half inches for the back block and for the front block rather and for the back block I'll make use of one inch. So go ahead now and connect it. Why for the front block you are going to have what? Your V neckline. So you can see a V shape. So you can see a V shape for the front neckline. So you can go ahead and make use of six inches, seven. It just depends on how deep you want your neckline to be. Once you are done with that now, the next thing you have to do now is to measure from your shoulder measurement to your hip area. From your shoulder measurement to your hip area. This will enable you know where to mark your hip. Okay. Now, in order for you to get your shoulder to your hip, Shoulder to arm O is nine and a half, right? Shoulder to arm O is nine and a half. Shoulder to arm O is nine and a half. Shoulder to bust to waist eight inches. Bust to waist eight inches. Bust 
to waist which is 8 inches bust to waist which is 8 inches now waist to hip waist to hip i don't want to mark it direct so that you guys will be able to know how to get it so waist to hip is 9 inches so waist to hip is 9 inches so this is where we have our hip line okay So this is where we have our hip line. So before then, now the next thing we are going to do now is to mark our shoulder slope. Mark our shoulder slope. So I'm making use of one inch for. The next thing we are going to do now is to mark our shoulder slope. One inch for my shoulder slope. So I'll connect my shoulder slope now to my neckline. Connect it together. So we've gone ahead now to connect it to our neckline. Now, another measurement you need to take note of is your Rick's measurement, okay, which is like your round sleeve measurement. And note that your round sleeve measurement totally depends on where you want it to get up to. So if you measure yours up to this part, that is where you are going to measure your round sleeve measurement. If you took your measurement up to this point, that is where you are going to measure your round sleeve measurement so for me i have eight inches round sleeve is eight inches so eight inches divided by two we have four plus our sewing allowance i'm going to make it of one inch sewing allowance so i have five inches so come again in order for you to mark your round sleeve divide your round sleeve by two plus your sewing allowance so my round sleeve now is eight divided by two i have four plus one i have five inches so I'm going to go ahead now and mark my 5 inches. So this is our this is our round sleeve measurement. So this is where we are going to fix in our arm, this part. Now we are done with the upper block. We are almost ready. Now the next thing you need to do now is your hip measurement. Take note of is our what? Hip measurement. So my hip measurement is 40. 40 divided by 4, I have 10, plus 1 inch, I have 11 inches. So, at this line here, where we marked our hip measurement, you go ahead and mark your hip measurement divided by 4 plus 1. So, my hip is 40 divided by 4, we have 10, plus 1 for our sewing allowance, we have 11 inches. So... This is what we have. We have 11 inches. If you don't want yours to be fitted around the hip area, you can go ahead and just add about 2 inches. If you want to have like freeness around your hip area. So, what you mark at this your hip point, at this your hip line, is the same thing you are going to mark on your gown length. So, it's the same measurement you have on your hip line, you are going to extend to your gown length. So, Go ahead now and connect it up to your gown length. Now, what you are going to do now, in order for you to achieve that curve for our draping, is to connect your round sleeve measurement. This is our round sleeve, right? Connect your round sleeve measurement to this point of your hip. And where you want to do that, where you want to do that, let me show you guys how to do that. You have to have like a curve shape. So that curve shape is what is going to give you your curve draping. So this is the line now. This is our line. Don't forget this is the line where our measurement starts from. This is the line. So you go ahead now. I'll just come out a little. Let me shift it so that you guys can see what I'm doing better. So we want to connect this point now to this our hip measurement so you go ahead now and just come out a little with a round curve so can you guys see it you can see that round curve so let's go again now at this point now make sure it's not sharp at this point of your hip Okay, you just connect it this way. Now, you can see 
what it looks like now at this point you make sure it blends inside with a curved shape okay make sure it blends here in a curved shape so that you don't have like a pointed point at this point okay now you can see this round shape that is how you will connect it so if you want it more full maybe you want like more full effects at this side you can still connect your round shape again you can give it like a very round curve you can give it like a very round curve you can give it like a very round curve So you can see what we have now. So if you still want like a round curve, a very big round curve, you can see that we really came out at this round curve. Or you can just like take it in. It basically depends on how big you want that side to be. So just go ahead and use like a round curve and you curve it out. So this is what we have. This is what we have. Now let me just come over again. Let me just come over again. Fold your fabric into four. Once you are done with that, mark your neckline. Our neckline made is of three inches by five. However, it depends on how deep you want it to be. Once you are done with that, you go ahead and mark one inch at this point for your shoulder slope. Connect the lines together. From your shoulder slope, you take your round sleeve measurement. And your round sleeve measurement is your round arm divided by two. So our round sleeve is eight inches divided by two. I have four plus one inch for my sewing allowance. I went ahead and marked five inches, right? Now from your shoulder line, go ahead and get your hip line. This is our hip line. On your hip line, you mark your hip measurement divided by 4 plus 1. So my hip is 40 inches divided by 4 plus 1. I have 11 inches. So whatever you mark at your hip line is what you are going to extend to your gown length. Now, once you are done with that, all you have to do now is to connect your round sleeve to your hip line. And in order for you to connect it, you have to use like a round curve to connect it. You have to use like a round curve to connect it. So now, this is what you are going to have. So I'll go ahead now and cut this out. And sh So guys, after cutting it out, this is what we are going to have. Now, the reason why I marked it on that other fabric is because of the color of the chalk, which I find it very difficult for it to actually appear on this fabric and for you guys to see it. So, I had to use another fabric to chalk it so that you guys can see it clearly. So, I, I just did the same thing I did on that fabric on this other part. So, you can see what we have now. You can see that curved shape. So if you want it to be more curved, it just depends on how, you know, how you are able to draw your circle and you can see how straight that part is. Now, for this upper side, you can see where you are going to fit in your arm, which is straight. And it's after your sleeve, after your round sleeve, can you guys see it? After your round sleeve is where you have that round shape. So this is actually very simple and very easy, guys. So... Now, before you cut out the front block, it is necessary for you to separate it so that you guys, so that you will make mistake of, mistake of cutting like the back block the same way because we'll end up opening the front block to give us like a slit in front. So I'm going to cut out the front neckline, which is V neckline. Now, once you cut out your neckline, you can see what the front block looks like. You go ahead now and open it up so that we have two pieces at the front in order for us to arrive at our slit. The front block will look like now for the sewing part of this, which is actually very, very easy to sew. What you are going to do now is to M the neckline, okay? M the neckline for the front block. And for the back block also, go ahead and M the neckline. So after aiming the neckline, I'll show you guys. So for the front block, after aiming the neckline, I'll basically just go ahead now and stitch this middle point which we opened up. You can see we have two pieces 
so you go ahead and stitch it now in order for you to get your slit mark six inches from your gown length mark six inches from your gown length so while you are stitching this middle block you stitch it up to six inches at this point so once you stitch it up to six inches at this point what you are going to have now is going to be your slit so guys now we've coupled up the front block we've gone ahead to m our neckline we've stitched this part and then you can see the slits at the lower side now the next thing we are going to do now is so you can see the circle shape you can see the sides what it looks like so the next thing you are going to do now is you go ahead now and take your back block go ahead now and take your back block place it on each other right side facing each other your front block and your back block together now this is where you have your neckline you go ahead and stitch it to this part you go ahead and stitch to this part don't forget your five inches for your round sleeve at this part so you leave this part open which will be your round sleeve and then you stitch it this way all the way down so let me come again now you've aimed your neckline you go ahead now and stitch your shoulder after stitching your shoulder, you leave your 5 inches for your round sleeve or the inches you used for your round sleeve. You are not going to stitch that part. So after that part now, where you have your circle, you go ahead now and stitch it and then you stitch it all the way down. Once I'm done with that, our dress is ready. Hi guys, so once you are done stitching it, this is what we have. You can see the circle shape. This is so cute guys. And towards the lower side, you can see the slits also so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye